Today I'm going to show you how to make chocolate lollies. You will need 100 grams of chocolate per three lollies. This is the only ingredient that you actually need to need. Everything else is an additional. So for my additionals, I've used some chocolate covered raisins, some various different sprinkles. I've got an icing pan and then I've got my lolly sticks. You can get like skewers from supermarkets if you can't find lolly sticks. If you can't find either, you can actually just make these as like shaped and decorated chocolates and just leave the sticks off if you like. I've put a piping bag there because if you want to use a piping bag, you can do. I actually found it easier to use spoons which I will show you. And then I do have some cookie cutters, which I'm going to show you how to make shaped chocolates. So I'm gonna show you three different designs. We're gonna have the easy peasy, we're gonna have the snowman design, and then we're gonna have the shaped chocolate design. So to start with, for all three designs, we're gonna to have to melt the chocolate. So with melting chocolate, what you're trying to achieve is the crystal structure inside the chocolate. So the way that chocolate as you buy it from the supermarket it's a certain crystal structure inside um, that makes it hard and shiny and the way that we like chocolate if you melt it um, and just melt it straight off high temperature it breaks all those crystals down and then when it reforms its crystals inside it reforms to the easiest way which isn't the crystal structure we want we um, you know we want it nice and neatly blocked together and the way that it will it will do is kind of messy hence why if you just melt chocolate it won't set properly so you can like pick it up and it melts in your hands and it doesn't become shiny so the three different ways of melting chocolate is one using um, like melting it to a certain temperature using a marble board to cool it down this kind of forces the chocolate to go in that structure the second one is called seeding where you melt about 75 percent of your chocolate um, to a certain temperature drop it down to a temperature add your chocolate add the seeded kind of 25 percent that you reserve to it and this basically says to the chocolate this is your crystal structure you want to go to and then i think you have to do a bit more after that i've never done it either of those um uh, melting of chocolates um i always like to do my cheat method via microwave and the concept behind this is we don't let it go over 30 degrees because if it goes over 30 degrees those crystal structures break down and it won't set properly it's not the best way of doing it so if you have a better way of doing it if you're more comfortable with like the better ways of melting chocolate by all means go for it i want to show you guys the easiest way of doing this the simplest way of doing this and the way of doing it without in equipment um, so then anybody can do it so what you're going to do is you're going to chop your chocolate as fine as you can pop it in a microwavable bowl and then you're going to put that in the microwave for 30 seconds initially once 30 seconds is up take it out of the microwave give it a stir it won't really be melted but make sure you stir it. This is gonna release some of that heat, which then makes sure that we don't go over that 30 degrees. And then 10 second blasts of time in the, in the microwave. Stir after every 10 seconds. Once that chocolate has hit halfway melted, so it's it's you know it's nicely melting and you've got chunks inside, that's where we're going to stop microwaving it. And at that point, you're going to stir, 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 stir. To stir it, that's going to help break down that chocolate. It's going to melt it and it's going to help keep it under that 30 degrees. And then once it's all nicely stirred and nicely melted, that's where we're going to make our chocolate lollies. So to start with, I'm going to show you how to make the easy peasy first. So here I'm just finishing off that stirring of the chocolate just to make sure it's melted all the way through. I will say um, I did try to do a batch where I used um, a piping bag. I did find because of the method that we use, you tend to get little lumps of chocolate throughout which using spoons you don't notice um, whereas with the piping bag every time I tried to use the piping bag they set inside and then you couldn't get them out and then it made it lumpy and kind of showed so I would actually suggest just using spoons for this so having pre-prepared a tin with some baking paper I'm just going to spoon out my chocolate onto my baking tin into just a rough circle Thank you. 
then using my lolly sticks i'm just going to pop them in the middle and then using the spoon just cover the top up so then they're nicely set inside the lolly and then simply add your toppings to it whatever you want to add i used all the various different sprinkles for this one once you've got your lollies how you like them pop them in the fridge for 10 minutes just to allow them to set and they're done next i'm going to show you the chocolate snowman so again melt your chocolate in the microwave as I explained before, and then using your spoons, um, just drop three circles, small one on top, medium one in the middle, large one at the bottom. You can do, I like snowman with three circles. If you just wanted to do two, you can just do two. And then I used either raisins for little um, stones uh, for the buttons, or I used little silver edible balls for the buttons as well. And then I got an edible pen and just tried to draw a, a face on. Um, what I will say with the edible pens that you can get, you need to let these set. <laughs> I did not let these set. I tried to put them in my bags and they smashed. But they will set. They just take a lot longer than the chocolate. So if you just leave them out on once you've popped your chocolate in the um fridge for 10 minutes, let it set, pop it on the side and then it will air dry the icing that it will then set. If you're putting them in bags for people, then it won't smash. And like I just said, pop it in the in the uh, fridge for 10 minutes, let it set and then you can just pop them straight off of the baking tray and then that's that done. And then finally for our shaped chocolate again melt your chocolate um, and then on our baking tray sheet just lay out the cookie cutters that you'd like to use for your shapes and then simply spoon your chocolate in try to make sure you get the chocolate into the corners on a couple of these i didn't quite get into the corners enough and it left a little bit of a gap so if you just kind of take a little bit more time than i did make sure it's in the corners for each of these uh, cookie cutters if you want to grease the cookie cutters you can do so just take a little bit of grease a little bit of oil um and put it around the cookie cutter i didn't i kind of wish i had <laughs> so if you want to do that you can do and then once you've put that chocolate in simply decorate how you want so for my little christmas tree i got my little icing pan and went along it to try and make it look like tinsel um i tried to draw a face on the angel it didn't work um but yeah just decorate it as you want and then pop these in the fridge in the cookie cutters for 10 minutes to allow them to set once set take them out of the fridge and then just carefully pop them from the cookie cutters this is where i wished i'd greased them but i just kind of used a knife to kind of release them um, just be very careful at this point if you're doing the same as me and then if you want to put these on sticks simply melt a little bit more chocolate pop it on your greaseproof paper in a little circle pop your lolly in making sure that it's covered and then pop your, uh, your shaped chocolate on top and then pop that back in the fridge for another 10 minutes to allow it to set and then it's on a lolly stick and then because i want to give these as presents um what i have done is i put them in little cute bags and then like had a tie around so the lolly sticks i bought came as a pack with these little bags um, but if you don't have them and you can't get them and you still want to put them in bags um the one thing i would suggest is like uh, sandwich bags so if you get a sandwich bag you pop it in and you know you you cut it to where you want it and then you can use a tie on there it, you know it's it's kind of the easier way of doing it if you can't get the supplies like I did and there you have it that's how you make chocolate lollies <laughs>